Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, you know, since we are talking about James White, so I, I found it interesting to go and uh, look at this guy, especially uh, videos posted by Muslims. And as I said, Muslims, they start favoring the videos of James White, and for sure they have a reason for that. Uh, uh, actually, the video right now I'm viewing is posted by uh, Muslims, you believe it or not. Now, uh, the reason I want to show you this, I want to show you that when somebody claimed to be a scholar and he is not, he will be uh, he will become a joke. Now, in this video, supposedly, James White is attacking other Christian and he's calling him a foolish and calling him dumb. Uh, but why? Let us see what the reason. Listen and be the judge. Here we go. By saying that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but it was hard for me not to say it. Let us go from the beginning to see why. Uh, I, I just discovered where this came from. Um, basically, what he asked was, I've read that the best way to deal with Islam would be to nuke the Kaaba, drop a nuclear bomb on, on Mecca and get rid of the Kaaba. That would end Islam. And I remember the first time he asked me this, we were just standing there after a conversation, you know, at, like I said, after a presentation I had made. And, and I, I was like, and I think my response was, that's the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Now, I normally do not respond to even relatively stupid questions um, by saying that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, but it was hard for me not to say it. Uh, because I, I, I was like, who are you reading that would ever make such an incredible, outlandish assertion? And then he, he asked it again this last time I was there, just a few weeks ago, and I... I again very strongly said it you've you've got to be kidding me that whoever you're reading stop reading this person uh because they 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 don't understand anything well i was just reading an article and i wish there was a reference to this and so i am going to say this is on the internet i'll be interested to see if it actually um uh, pans out as being accurate. But it is attributed to Dr. Robert Morey. And here's what it says. First, as I wrote in my book, How to Win the War Against Radical Islam, the war against the Muslim, Jih Muslim jihadists will be long and costly and will not be won until we bomb the Kaaba in Mecca. Islam is based on a brick-and-mortar building that can be destroyed. They pray that building five times a day, make a pilgrimage to it, run around it, kiss a black rock on the wall, then run between two hills and finally throw rocks at a pillar. What if that building, the Kaaba, was destroyed? They could not pray to it or make a pilgrimage to it. The old pagan temple of the moon god, Al-Ilah, is the Achilles heel of Islam. Destroy it and you destroy Islam's soul. There is the quote. No reference is given. That bothers me that no reference is given. Mm -hmm. But since, obviously, this is floating around and people are reading it, um, may I comment briefly Please go. upon this assertion? First of all, uh, mm -hmm. no one who actually understands the Islamic theology uh, believes that anyone's praying to the building. It's uh -huh. the, uh, the black stone is what the Qibla points toward, not the building. The building has been torn down and rebuilt many times. This is what I call when a fool, he speak wisdom, he do poo poo. I challenge Mr. Uh, James White to give me the reference as long, you know, he is the one who keep mentioning a reference. Where you got that the black stone is what Muslims they pray for, not the Kaaba. Like, do you have reference? Hey, scholar, do you have reference? 
just to show you how foolish what he said. Uh, again, I'm not calling names, by the way, because he called the other Christian foolish for what he said, when the fact he is the, the one being foolish for not sponsoring what he said with the proofs and reference. The fact the other guy is, is correct. The one who uh, uh, James White, he called him foolish and ignorant for not knowing what Muslims even pray for. He said that the Muslim they pray to the black stone. If we go and search the whole Quran, we will not find the black stone. Not even one time mentioned in the whole Quran. What is mentioned in the Quran is the following. Uh, for sure, there's many verses, all right? But uh, we will take one of them as an example. Chapter 5, verse number 2. You will see that the Quran quote the sacred house. Not the sacred stone. So who is the foolish here, Mr. James White? The black stone is a holy stone in the sacred house. It's not the opposite. It's not the house is a, is a part of the uh, black stone. So when the other guy, he said to you that the Muslims, yes, they pray to the Kaaba, and he said, if we nuke the Kaaba, regardless if I agree with it or not, that will destroy the Islamic faith. I agree with him. And actually, this is proven to be true. But because you are ignorant, you do not understand. When Al-Qurmuti, uh, Hassan Al-Qurmuti, he destroyed the Kaaba, not only he destroyed the Kaaba, he stand in the yard of the Kaaba. And he was shouting and screaming, saying, screaming, saying, Allah, where is the elephants? I'm sorry, where is the birds who killed the elephants? You know that there is a uh, uh, there is a story in the Quran in the chapter of the elephant about Allah sending birds to kill the invasion or the invader, those who they, inv uh, they, they try to destroy the Kaaba. Allah He sent uh, uh, birds to protect the sacred house, not the black stone. And those birds they killed and destroyed the army of that. Uh, Ethiopian army. So Al Qurmati he was challenging Allah and saying, "Hey Allah, here we go. I'm destroying your 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 your, uh, your Kaaba." And he took the black stone with him. He made it a book of stone for a long time. And according to all studies, Muslims they lost their faith because of what happened, because they they thought that the the Kaaba is protected by Allah, as the Quran said in the chapter of the elephant. But when Al Qurmati he destroyed the Kaaba. And he took the black stone, and later actually he made it, he made it pieces. This is why the, the black stone right now, the one is existing, the Kaaba is glued together. And actually even there's many hadith says that the, the black stone, uh, the, the one when it came back, it was lighter in weight. Lighter in weight. So either he replaced it, he gave them false stone later, or because he broke it pieces, became smaller. However, the Allah, he did not get the, the black stone back uh, by any uh, mean of force. The Muslims had to pay to Al-Qurmuti through the middleman, which was the Khalifa of Egypt at that time, Al-Fatimi, Al-Hakim bi Allah Al-Fatimi. And he is the one who, uh, who uh, spoke to Al-Qurmuti, asking him, please, they will pay you whatever you want. Can you give them back the black stone so they can build the sacred house? So when Mr. James White, he say, such a statement, he is just being ignorant, and he claimed to be a scholar who want to teach you about Islam. He says, no, no, Muslims don't pray to the sacred house, they pray to the black stone. Now, who is the fool in here? Who is the ignorant in this part? What those people are talking about? The black stone is a holy stone, which is, used to be the vagina of a lat. Some they say it was a vagina of dif different idols. It doesn't matter really what it is. The black stone was a vagina, pre represent the, the fertility God, 
uh, which is Baal. And that statue was the one who present the, the, the giving birth, the one who gave birth to mankind for everything. The Muslims, they kiss it because the pagan before them, they kiss it because Islam is a pagan religion, and all of us, we know that. But when uh, uh, James White, he say that Muslims don't pray to the Kaaba, they pray to the direction of the black stone, this is a very false statement. When, when the Muslims, uh, most of them, they lost their faith because of what happened with Al-Hurmuti, still, the one who believes, still, still they pray in the direction of the Kaaba, even the black stone was not there. Even the Kaaba is destroyed. All right, but I agree with the gentleman regarding about if if the Kaaba is destroyed, Muslims will lose their faith and they will notice again uh, that Allah He made a lie when He said in the Quran He protected the second house. Especially the protection happened in the time of where uh, uh, the Kaaba was surrounded and filled with uh, idols. So how come the Kaaba was not protected when there is no idols and became only under Muslims' occupation? This is a video by a very well-known Muslim scholar speaking about the story. And actually, this video uh, is, is a translated a long time by me. And let us see what he said. الكلام ده صحيح جبته منين اقرا التاريخ بقول لك انظر للتاريخ نظره اعمق ارجع للتاريخ انظر نظره اشمل الحجر الاسود انتزع من الكعبه ايوه مين ده الخبيث المجرب ابو طاهر القرمطي الذي انتزع الحجر الاسود من بيت الرب العلي وذبح المسلمين في الطواف وهم يطوفون حول بيت الله جل وعلا ذبحهم كما تذبح الخراف والأغنام ذبحهم وهم يطوفون بملابس الإحرام وانتزع الحجر الأسود وخلي بالك بقى شايف الفتنة ظل يصرخ في الكعبة في صحن الطواف يقول أين الطير الأبابيل أين الحجارة من سجيل يا خبر أبيض ده تحدي واضح بتقول لنا طر أبابيل نزلت على أبراء الحبشي وبتقول لنا حجارة من سجيل نزلت على أبراء فين الطير دي أنا عاوز الطير عاوز الحجارة يا الله فتنة قاسية فتنة قاسية على المسلمين في هذا الوقت وفي هذا الزمان أنا عاوز حضرت He's saying this was a very harsh فتنة فتنة mean a trouble Muslims they have trouble in their faith فتنة is a trouble with the faith So this guy he was able to prove to the Muslims actually he made a very smart move when he destroyed the Kaaba and he was screaming in the yard of the Kaaba, screaming to Allah, saying, Where is your birds, you liar? Where is your birds? I thought you sent birds to protect the Kaaba. How come you are not sending them now? So yes, I agree that if the Kaaba is destroyed, that will destroy the major uh, uh, number of Muslims believe because they will notice right away. Many of the Muslims, they never heard, by the way, this before. Many of the Muslims never heard. There's a difference between destroying the Kaaba, like he mentioned like 40 years ago, uh, because of flood or uh, uh, you know they want to rebuild it or etc and destroying the Kaaba in purpose by a man challenging Allah this guy he was challenging Allah that where is your birds so yes this is can be a very huge impact on the Muslim faith because they will notice that this is not but nothing nothing but a pagan false stories uh, Muhammad he made saying that Allah he protected the Kaaba uh, in the chapter of the elephant. If we go to the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 97, we will see that clearly the Quran called the Kaaba is exactly the sacred house. As you see with me here in the screen. All right. So, when Mr. Uh, James White, he is making fun of other fellow Christian and calling him foolish statement and foolish stupid talk, etc. Should I say the same to you, Mr. James White? Because obviously you have no idea what you are talking about. Muslims, they pray to the direction of the Kaaba 
not in the direction of the black stone. The black stone is one of the stones of the Kaaba, and it's the most important stone in the Kaaba, yes. But the Kaaba is the sacred house, and whatever is inside the Kaaba is part of it. Which means every stone in the Kaaba is a holy stone, and the holy stone, the most special holy stone for Muslims is the black stone, especially because Muhammad, he was a pagan man who kissed the black stone the same as the pagan before him. But what I see, what I see as ironic, that he make fun of somebody for saying the Kaaba is a sacred house of the Muslims, and then he says, this is funny, this is stupid. <laughs> you know, Muslims don't believe actually to the Kaaba. Muslims, they pray to the black stone. And the funny, he is the one who say, uh, I wish there is a reference for what he said. I mean, the other guy. But when he come to his speeches, we don't see any reference. Like, can you tell me where you got this from? That's the, the Muslim, they pray in the direction of the Kaaba. Uh, I mean, the black stone, not the Kaaba. Uh, do you have reference? Obviously you don't. The whole Quran never mentioned the black stone. Never, never, not even once. And the Kaaba is the one by name called the sacred house. The Kaaba is not the black stone. The Kaaba is the whole building. He said, the Muslim don't pray to the building, they pray to the, uh, the black stone. So what I'm trying to say to you guys here, uh, not everyone say, I am a scholar. Yes, maybe he's a scholar in the Bible, I have no idea. But in this topic, I give you zero. I don't even give you, uh, not even D, I give you, uh, I don't know, Z. So please, those who claim to be scholars don't speak about something you do not know. All right? Don't speak about something you do not know and make fun of other Christians because simply you know more than them. When the fact you are the one who do not know. I hope my video is clear and the message is clear. Don't listen to those guys when it's come to Islam, guys. Those people, they have no idea what they are talking about. Uh, I have no idea if he's a scholar in the Bible or not. This is not my business now. But obviously, this guy, he is condemning other Christians for saying something. He thinks they are stupid, and he he's saying that clearly, when the fact he is the one who is making a wrong statement and giving you wrong teaching. The Islamic theology... Uh, believes that anyone's praying to the building. It's the uh, the black stone is what the Qibla points toward, not the building. The building has been torn down and rebuilt many times, the last time within recent memory, just within the past 30, 40 years. It's not the building. The building is not what is sacred. It is the black stone. And You see, the, he mentioned the word Qibla. He mentioned the word Qibla. I am assuming that when he, when, a, when an American guy he uses an Arabic word, uh, he means what it does mean, right? Otherwise, that would be a foolish of him to say it. Let us see what the Quran say about the word qibla, and then we will love to gather at this scholar. If we go to chapter two, verse one forty-four, you will see what the word qibla. I will open it in the other browsers to make it clear. But anyway, in here it says that we will give you a direction, a Qibla, this is the word Qibla, the one he mentioned in Arabic, and I hope he know what, what the word Qibla mean. Qibla is a direction, all right? And this verse here, stating clearly the direction is to what? Is it to the black stone? Or it is to the second, second mosque, which is the Kaaba? Because we showed you other verse saying that the second mosque is the Kaaba. Let us go and see uh, Chapter 2, verse 144, what it does say. You can choose any translation you want. However, as I said many times, all Muslim translation is very inaccurate. But we will use it just to prove our point. We see the turning of the, uh, uh, the face uh, for guiding of heaven, etc. This is between brackets, it's not really right there. And then, uh, shall we turn uh, thee to the Qibla? And this is the Qibla he mentioned, which means the direction. Qibla is a direction. 
that shall please thee. So Allah, he made a, a, a qibla, which Muhammad, he like, which is very funny, which proved that Islam is not really, uh, 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 Allah, the whole Kaaba is just to please thee. The whole Kaaba is just to please Muhammad. In the fact, this is happening because when Muhammad, he killed the Christian and the Jews, the city of uh, uh, Mecca was dying. Business is dead. So uh, Muhammad used to pray in the direction of Jerusalem. And he found, according to what Umar, he said to him, Umar is the one who should suggest to him, we should make the Kaaba again the, the place of Hajj, and that will bring people to spend money. So Muhammad, he took the advice of Umar. This is why Umar, he said in the Hadith, my Lord, he agreed with me in three things. And one of them was the Qibla, which is the direction of the prayer. Where, where, where uh, Umar, he said, why we don't take the, the place of Abraham as a place for us to, uh, to pray? And Allah took it, and this is why he says, shall please thee. However, the important here that the word Qibla present the direction of the sacred mosque, not stone. As Mr. Uh, James White, he said. I don't know if I watch videos of him speaking about Islam, how many millions of mistakes I will find. But the ironic for me that he's making fun of a Christian, calling him foolish, for saying something is not accurate supposedly according to him when he is the one is really the one have no idea what he's talking about I hope my my point is clear so I advise you you want to learn about Islam learn from those who know those who can who, who prove their knowledge making speeches is easy and this is what those people they do Maybe he's a scholar in the Bible. I'm not, I'm not saying that he is not, if he is. So I hope that those videos, you know, I do not need to make videos more of him uh, saying things, but uh, obviously, uh, guys, if somebody is a scholar in the Bible, if he is, doesn't mean he is a scholar in, in a different religion or different belief. So don't listen to those people regarding Islam, really. Don't take it too much seriously, because obviously, uh, this person, he do not know what he is talking about. And we prove it easy. I don't know if I watch his videos, how many errors, as I said, I will, I will find. Because if this is something very simple, like this is anyone can like can find out, this is very simple. And you do not need to be a scholar to know that the, the Kaaba is the Qibla. It's not the black stone. But according to him, it is the black stone. Very naive talk. And the funny, he called other Christian foolish. And supposedly he is the one who's correcting him when the fact he is the one need to be corrected big deal so with this i say thank you for watching if you like to learn more about islam you can read my books the deception of allah and quran and science in depth both are in amazon god bless thank you